Hey everyone, this is CLR Gaming. If you're new here, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. It's good to have you guys. And welcome to another episode of the EcoQuest. Oh man, in the last episode, we were the heroes of the fish apartments. What is the saying? We came, we saw, we conquered. We were able to help all the citizens in the apartments with their various ailments. And they ended up having a meeting and it looks like it just ended and Mayor Superfluous has something to say. So let's see what he's talking about. Oh, Adam, you did it. Because of you, we Allurians are ready to help ourselves. A new cleanup committee will keep the dangerous garbage from building up around the city, and the Flesh Eater Watch will sound the alarms whenever that horrible monster gets close. Wow. Look at that. You guys were productive. And thanks to your little lesson, we know a lot more about the dangers, human garbage, and how to avoid them. No boo-hoo today, Adam. No boo-hoo. <laughs> I wish I could do more. I wish I could stop all this stuff from bothering you at all. Well, when you return to your world, just remember that feeling and maybe you can help things get better someday. For now, why don't you take this gold mask as a sign of gratitude? I don't need it anymore. The citizens seem to actually listen to me as little old superfluous. The great senator is gone for good. Hey, that's awesome. Proud of you. Be you. Thanks, Superfluous. I mean, Mr. Mayor. Oh, that was cool. Goodbye. I think Superfluous is my favorite. Phew! Aluria's safe for the moment. Always the positive one, Delphinius. What do you mean? Well, the cleanup crews can't stop that horrid green ooze in the water, and Flesh Eater will keep haunting us. And then there's our food supply. <sighs> I think we still have to find Cetus, Adam. Now that the city is okay for a while, I think it's time to go search for him. Oh boy, we're leaving the city? I was getting so comfortable in it. How do we start? Remember? The Oracle wanted to see you again. Let's see what she has to say. Oh, that's right. I completely forgot about the Oracle. Completely forgot she wanted... Oh, the mask, right? That... Oh, <laughs> Save no more. Your girl's got it. Do I gotta use the key again? Here's the key. Key? Can we just knock? No. The trident pushes in the three eyes and the wall trembles. A panel slowly opens. You know, we've seen the intro. You don't have to do this each time. You can just, okay, you know. Do you, Miss Oracle? The citizens must give their trust to you alone. Win them you must. This sign of trust bring back to me and you shall see the prophecy. You don't ever just talk, huh? Always the riddles. Look at this, ba-bam! Adam hands the gold mask to the Oracle, holding his breath with anticipation. A sign of trust is given to me, a mask of gold for all to see. Poseidon's favor has been won by the child Adam, the chosen one. I would like that mask back though. I'm really fond of that one. Here now is the prophecy. In the place where shadows creep rests the poison of the deep. What came from man must now return. Least the kingdom die, the oceans burn. Held hostage is the king of peace. None shall be safe till he's released. Only love can face the one most vile. To save us all, a human child. Wow. I mean, you said a lot of words, but did you say anything at all? But how? <laughs> how? Yes, how indeed. But how can I save the kingdom? Only fragments can I see, but let me tell them now to thee. Armor for a modern knight, from the depths a glowing light, a net of bones, a wall of stones, a floating orb, a silver wire, will help you in a place most dire. The flip are you talking about? Armor for a modern knight, a wall of stones, an orb, Wire. Oh my. Who's writing it down? I'm sure we've picked a writer by now. Here on a parchment. Oh, don't worry. Stand down. I think she's giving it to us in writing. Are the clues? May Poseidon watch over you. Adam takes a parchment scroll containing the prophecy from the Oracle. Well, thank God for that. Goodbye, Miss Seuss. We will return, maybe? What the hell did we show? Wow, a prophecy. And to think I didn't know if I should bring you, Adam. Let's get started on our quest outside the city. Let's see what the parchment does. Oh, okay. Oh, scroll down. Oh, I like the pictures much better than you doing. That's Cetus. This is love. She said something about love. Okay, we start from the beginning. The bones, the net of bones, wall of stones, yes. 
modern armor? Uh, I forgot what... Okay. All right. I'm ready. Well, I guess we just gotta go now. And look for a net of bones? Is that what we're doing? I have no idea. I, the oracle could speak better English. Honestly. Come on, Adam. There's a reef south of the city. Let's head out and see what we can find. You're gonna stay with us this time, right, Delphinius? South of the city? This this way? This is it, Adam. We're on our own now. Well, I've kind of been on my own the whole time, Delphinius. Right out here in the open sea. What an adventure, huh? You're not nervous, are you, Delphinius? Who, me? Master of Control? Nervous? We've got the prophecy, and we've got our natural talent, so... Hey, what the heck? Flesh Eater beware, right? Um... Right, let's explore. Perhaps Adam should swim closer. Oh, good. Smart Alec. Okay, what is this? I am. How much closer? You want me to swim in? I'm gonna swim inside this hole. That. You know what I mean. Oh, we were quite far away. Oh, there's more trash. What the hell? Can you stand it? This little fish just loves mirrors. They think there's another fish in there. I'm glad I'm one of the higher mammals. Are you calling that a dumb fish? Hello, fish. Have you met a blowfish by the name of Narcissus? Hmm? Hi? She's not an Illurian, Adam, so she doesn't have the power of speech. Oh, is that how this works? I didn't know that. How am I supposed to know that? Don't disturb her, Adam. She's primping. Listen, Delphinius, I don't need you here. You're just gonna be yelling at me this whole trip. Let's clean up this trash. The damselfish is startled by Adam's approach. She gives up looking at the other fish in the mirror and swims away. Oh, there we go. Can I have the mirror? Yes, now we have a rear view mirror for whatever reason. Look at the flamingo! Oh, you poor thing. Okay, so this is what I was seeing on the outside. Oh, weird. Let me look at that. Blow me away. It's a flashlight fish. He's one of those nocturnal types, so I don't know what he's doing there. Right. What can I do about it? I don't know what to do with that right now. We have a light fish. In case it gets dark. I don't know. Okay. So now we're in a different part of the ocean. Mm -hmm. Don't be fooled. That clownfish is a decoy for the anemone. He lures other fish near the anemone and then scarfs up the scraps when the anemone strikes. <laughs> no way! Yeah. The clownfish is covered with a special mucus. Yuck. Slimy, but it protects him from the anemone's sting. Weird partnership. What? That clownfish is a decoy? That's pretty neat, actually. What do I do with that information? Huh. You haven't seen a net of bones, have you? It is pretty. I don't know what we're doing. A coiled piece of wire can be seen at the mouth of a dark opening. On looking closer, Adam sees that it's really part of a long cable. Can we grab it? Oh, that is creepy as hell. Exactly. A creeping tentacle firmly grabs Adam's wrist. Hey, let go of me! Yow, it's an octopus. We've disturbed his lair. They're these depressal loner dudes. They like to live by themselves. Really antisocial. They'll defend their territory against anyone, especially another octopus. Octopus fighting is not a pretty sight. All those tentacles, you know. Yeah, that's like 16 arms. I have to admit, he's got a strong grip. A strong grip. Strong grip. They used that same wording when I did the jar, didn't they? It will take a stronger grip than Adam's to remove that lid. Will this octopus? Oh, I thought I was barking up the wrong tree there. It's letting me do something. What did I tell you? Octopi are really hung up. I doubt he'll touch it while you're watching. Better hide. Hide? Where the hell am I going to hide? Can you see me? Delphinius, you need to hide. You're, you're blocking. Maybe if I leave? And they come back? Hey, he did open it. Look at that. Adam picks up the open jar, but keeps an eye on the octopus. Okay, so now we have an open jar, right? Good. What do we do with that? I have no idea, but you know, one victory at a time. 
If I put the mirror in front of the octopus, will he fight with it, thinking it's another octopus? Adam shines the mirror towards the octopus. The octopus peers into the mirror. Red with rage, he charges out to fight the other octopus. Oh snap! Whoops! The octopus sees Adam, a human, white with fear. He shoots a cloud of ink and flees. Oh great, we've been inked. Get inked and Dave the diver, I get inked here. That ink's supposed to be like a fake octopus to throw you off the track. Oh, okay. Can I get this now? Adam reaches down and pulls out the cable. A gleaming wire. I'm beginning to get an idea about what the oracle meant. Wait, what? Adam is carrying a shielded cable, the gleaming wire from the oracle's prophecy. I completely forgot about the wire. Is that on here? A gleaming wire will help you in place most dire. I mean, I knew that. Of course, I, f I completely forgot about that. I was going straight towards the net of bones. <clears throat> I mean, I am a professional. That's what we do here. Whoa, help. Where's that coming from? Hey, the hell is this? Some kind of underwater maintenance vehicle has broken down here. The fish and plants are slowly taking it over. A storage panel is just behind the sodden seats. Glowing dead fish litter the ocean floor here. Adam notices an increasing number of them to the east. Okay. The toilet tank is on its side. The lid is jammed over the tank at one corner. Can we grab it? The lid of the tank is jammed in place. Okay, so we need something to unjam it, right? What's this? Oh dear, some fish fell for a line, so to speak. You must say it was lured into difficult- Oh my god, the puns! Why not just say it's a fishing lure? What, and miss the chance for a witty repost? You and I have different ideas of witty, my friend. Adam picks up the brightly colored lure fishing lure. Really? How are we gonna do with that? It still looks like dinner to fish, though. Okay, okay. And then it said something about a panel behind these seats. What the hell? Excuse me. There's just no privacy on this reef. We're going back to the city. Um. Gross me out. It's a mess in there. Do I even want to know? Okay. Adam picks up the hammer, but it crumbles into rust. Adam picks up the steel saw. A steel saw is su still surprisingly sharp and sturdy. It looks like it could cut through solid steel. The company failed to plug the borehole so that the oil is continuing to seep into the water. Oh man, I don't, Adam can't plug the borehole. He'll have to tell his dad about it later. Got it. So this is a drilling site. Holy crap, look at all the oil. Large deposits of oil have solidified here. As the oil from the spill sank, the current carried it here. It looks scary in there, Adam. Feel all that cold water? It looks dark too. Oh, I don't want to be in here. Hello? I don't think so. Adam, I can't see where I'm going. Let's get out of here before we get hurt. I'm with you, my friend. We're gonna need a flashlight. Cave diving has always made me nervous. My dad completely forbids it. I agree with him. No way we should go in there without a light of some kind. The light fish. I got it. I got it. I understand. How do we get the light fish? There was a, that help bubble that I saw. Where did it come from, though? It was when I was here. Oh, look at the octopus. Look at him. He's trying to convince you that he's really a rock. Close, but no cigar, huh? Oh, there we go. I was able to go up. Oh, horrible. This must be the net of bones in the Oracle's prophecy. Look, Dell, this little lobster over there is still moving. Why, that's Persephone, the meter's daughter. Oh, no, it isn't. So that's what happened to her. Do you think you could get her out, Adam? I already know my flippers are useless against this drift net. Oh, you are the meter's child? Wait, do we, we still have that sharp bone knife. Don't worry, I'll get you out. Easy now. Don't pinch me. Persephone, you better go on home to your mother, Demeter. She's been worried sick. Aw. Good going, Adam. At least you have the thumbs for the job. Is that all I'm good for? Thumbs? There's nothing of interest that way. What am I supposed to do with this net? It says, there's nothing Adam can do about the drift net right now. Huh. Okay. Well, I know I need the light bug, right? How do we get the light bug? And why did they tell us about this clown? Where the hell am I going? 
Oh, I, I didn't even see that there. The pirate ghost has the job of guarding the treasure. The pirate chief made sure he wouldn't quit. Oh, the key's stuck under the pike tip. Okay. Pull it, Adam. You got hands? How do... What? I, I don't know. Can I saw this? Can I just pull this pike? Oh, there we go. Oh my god, this kid. You're useless, Adam! I'm gonna have to get Delphinius up here. <laughs> rubbed his butt there. Okay, listen. I think I felt it give a little. Something gave, alright. Come on. Oh my goodness. The pike snaps into pieces and the key goes flinging into the water. Adam, making my job harder. Adam, get in the damn water, Adam. Finally. All right. Let's get the flipping key. Oh, for crying out loud. Out of nowhere, lurking fish darts forward. Hey, you, give that back. He swallowed it. He swallowed it. Can't believe it. After him, Adam, what a pig. Oh my goodness. The red fish streaks across the reef towards the east. Oh, good. 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 I'm glad. This is, this is fine. There he goes. Follow him. Hurry. Swim faster. Delphinius, come on. We should not be at the same pace. Yes. Yo. Uh, you don't talk, do you? What do I do? Touch him? Hello, I need that key. Psych! The red fish takes off again. Oh, okay. <laughs> this game's got jokes! <laughs> Get, go after the flippin' fish! Okay, we're just gonna... This is the rest of the episode here. The red fish keeps up the speed as it heads back the way it came. Octopus! Nothing, huh? He was right by you. You could have grabbed him. Just saying. Uh, hello? Where'd he go? Rats! We lost him! Where'd he go? Don't know, Adam, but I do know he's packing iron. Wow. Oh. <laughs> oh! The anemone heaves with discomfort. Clearly, he's bitten off more than he can chew. Uh, something... Some anemones have a venom that stings humans. Even with gloves, Adam shouldn't touch it. I think he ate the fish. Ugh, can I poke you with the trident? The trident would only puncture his vanity. It would also put some serious holes in his pride. Okay, all right. I'll admit it. It was a bit much. Uh, can we give it this? The lure? Adam moves the bright fishing lure in front of the anemone. <laughs> there we go. Why do we need this key? I guess that'll show him to get grabby. Wow. Wow, that fish died. Adam picks up the key and tries not to think about where it's been. You do that. I don't even know how I got there. Is it here? I was trying to go this way. <laughs> I mean, I totally meant to go up that sunshine. Okay, let's see if this was worth it. The key looks more modern than the chest. It won't open that old lock. Anyway, the lock has been sawed through. Oh my god, I could have opened this the whole time? Dreaming of pirate treasure, Adam opens the chest. A tiny blue crab has been napping in the chest. He scuttles away to find new shelter. I guess he was napping. Not a good place for it. I mean, I don't know. Seemed like a pretty good place till we got here. The chest was empty except for crab. Someone else has been here recently. Unless, of course, you believe in hundred-year-old crabs. So there's nothing in there? That's disappointing. Where's all my booty? Alright. Let me go see how the hell we're going to get this. Adam doesn't want to scare the fish. Oh, our lure is gone completely. Will the mirror? Okay, I've been looking at the stuff for a little bit. Let's try this jar. Adam senses some movement inside the ear. The flashlight fish darts into the jar and settles in the bottom. Wow, look at that! Glowing light, just like the oracle said. Adam carefully places the glowing jar in his backpack. There we go, that should give us some light, right? Okay, so now we can go in that cave? That doesn't excite me much. Alright, let's try going back inside the cave. Okay. 
Are we releasing it? Adam holds out the glowing jar. The, flash the flashlight fish senses the friendly dark of the cave. Oh wow, those graphics though. <laughs> Gathering courage, it swims out of the jar and settles down between two rocks. What a relief! Now I can see where I'm going! Adam puts the empty jar into his recycle bag. Okay, I guess we're done with that. I can see here it looks like a wall of stones. The prophecy! Oh, that prophecy. What can we do here? Uh, nothing. Adam reaches up and pulls on one of the brownish rocks. It falls easily to the floor of the cave. A strange green light seeps through the small hole. Uh, I don't think we should... You know, glowing green. That's a bad sign. Something's wrong. In seven days to die, that means they're radiated. Another rock pulls out easily. It must not have been there very long. Oh. Hey, those are coming out no problemo. Yeah, it feels more to me like somebody put these here. Somebody put these here. I don't, I don't think we should be doing this. Just, just FYI, this is a bad idea. The greenish color of the water intensifies as the rocks come out. Doom! The greenish substance leaks through the opening. Just beyond, Adam sees large shapes. However, it's not clear what they are. They really do take it one at a time, don't they? I think something's happening to the water, Adam. I'm getting dizzy. My sonar feels a little off or something. Should I stop? No, we've got to find out what's on the other side. I don't think so. That's not a good sign. Have you heard of canary in the coal mines? Like, if you're sensing something, we should stop. Yet here I go, clicking. The light strikes something hidden behind the rocks. Oh man, we're gonna find out what it is in the next episode. Oh, I'm so bad. <laughs> ah, this episode's been running late and I have to, I have to, I have to call it so I can edit it and get it out to you tomorrow. But that's going to do it for this one, guys. I appreciate y'all watching. You have a good one. Stay safe. And until the next time, bye. What do you think's behind there, Dophinius? Death. Death and despair. That's what I think. That's what I'm feeling.